Greetings folks, it's Sarah with Obadiahs. Today I am in Pennsylvania at the DS showroom. I have featured for you guys the Cozy King Forced Air Coal Furnaces. Today I'm going to do a technical overview for you guys on the Cozy King units. There are three different sizes in this model, the 100, the 300, and the 400 series. 100 is going to be 100,000 BTUs. Uh, the 400 model is about 300,000 BTUs. Uh, it'll heat maybe up to a 4,000 square foot home for the largest unit, depending on your size. So again, this is going to be sold as a forced air coal furnace. Prior to 2016, these units would have been sold as wood coal combinations. With the regulation changes to avoid EPA testing, this has been removed as a wood unit and is listed and labeled only as burning coal. However, nothing has changed in the overall design of this furnace since it was originally designed to burn wood and coal. Now, what is super cool about these older style coal units is they still have a massive firebox. So I talk a little bit about EPA regulations and how that changes things. Typically what that means is that um, the, the EPA basically uses this ratio system. So it's the size of the firebox in relation to how many grams of particulate are actually coming out your flue stack. So oftentimes what a lot of people will do in the wood category is simply just reduce the size of the firebox. Reducing the firebox a couple inches here, a couple inches there, suddenly magically makes them fit into this category of being efficient. Um, if you ask me, are we actually gaining efficiency or are we just modifying firebox sizes? Well, you know, that's a little bit up for debate and discussion, but what is really nice about these units is they still have that massive firebox size, um, nice long length, so if you have long wood or you just want that nice deep box for super long burns, this is probably gonna be the biggest box on the market that you guys are gonna find. So I'm gonna take you guys up close, show you inside the firebox around the rear of the unit. Here we have the backside blower, a cabinet, which comes with the filter and the box. This is going to be your blower um, for your draft, and the draft blower does need to be wired in. This draft blower does operate on a thermostat. It will not kick on automatically, okay? So that is something to keep in mind. You do have to have it on a thermostat. It'll hit a certain temperature before it activates. Here we have the DS300 Cozy King model. It's gonna have a rear flue. This is going to be an eight inch flue on this particular model. Up top is going to be where your plenum will attach so this unit can fit into your ductwork because this is a forced air furnace. The red cabinet does come standard with the unit. It's gonna have a solid insulated door. If you guys do like these videos, if they're helpful, informational, and educational, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Click the subscribe button in the corner of the channel. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day.